Our broadcast is almost done, but the news never stops. Looking to the week ahead, here's what you need to know. The UN's General Assembly meets on Tuesday, and you can bet the speeches are written and rehearsed. Peace Up first, Barack Obama, Tuesday followed by Iran's president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, on Wednesday, and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Thursday. Don't expect him to back away from comments he made on Iran earlier this month. They're continuing to race towards the development of uh, nuclear bombs, uh, and they continue to pursue worldwide terror. Today, I'm pleased Stephen Harper hasn't spoken at the General Assembly since 2010, when Canada failed to get a Security Council seat. But Harper will be in New York on Thursday, picking up an award from a religious organization, the Appeal of Conscience Foundation. It says the PM is its World Statesman of the Year, largely for shutting down Iran's embassy in Ottawa and pulling diplomats out of Tehran. So, what's Greek for strike? Anti-austerity protests that have raged all week are leading up to a 24-hour labor union walkout on Wednesday. He's already confessed to acting alone to leaking letters containing allegations of corruption. Now, the Pope's butler, Paolo Gabriele, will be in court next weekend. He's facing six years in prison for leaking papal secrets. The restoration was late and it cost a lot, nearly $16 million, but the Blue Nose 2 is scheduled to set sail again from Lunenburg, Nova Scotia next Saturday.